Today, we are going over the best season two settings for Warzone for both Nvidia and AMD. I'm gonna make your game go from looking like this to looking like this. If we put them side by side, you can see a huge difference in visibility and clarity, and you can see a pretty sizable boost to your FPS as well. So let's just get into the settings. The first thing I want you to do is open up Google Chrome if you do use Google Chrome. And once you do, you're just gonna go to the top right hand corner here and click on on the three little dots which will bring this menu up here and from here you're just going to want to click on settings and from there you are going to want to click advanced on the left side over here and then you will see system and that'll bring you to the menu i am currently on all you're going to want to do here is uncheck where it says continue running background apps when google chrome is closed close out of google chrome and then go to the search bar on the bottom left and just type in background apps and you will see it pop up right here under best match so just click on that and it'll bring up this menu here and you're just going to want to check off here at the top where it says let apps run in the background if you don't do this all these programs will be running in the background just hogging up the performance on your pc which in turn will hurt your performance in game which is why we want to do that go back to the search bar again and this time you're going to type in power and you are going to see power and sleep settings so click on that and it'll bring this menu up here on the right side you will see it says additional power settings so click on that and it'll bring this menu up and what you're going to want to do is just check high performance right here if you're not seeing it it might be hidden under this little drop down box right there and this will allow your pc to favor performance over energy saving this next setting is for my mouse and keyboard players so just go back to the search bar and type in mouse and you're going to see mouse settings right here so click on it and it'll bring this menu up. Now on the right side, you're gonna click on additional mouse options and it'll bring this menu up over here on the left. And from there, you're gonna wanna click on pointer options and you're gonna see it says enhance pointer precision right here. You want to uncheck that. Otherwise your mouse will automatically slow down for you when you are moving your mouse around slowly. And this is very, very bad for muscle memory. So if you had this checked and you just unchecked it, your mouse might feel a little weird and a little faster at first, but you will get used to it and your aim will thank you next we're going to go over all the nvidia control panel and the amd radeon software settings according to kerneal the best nvidia drivers are currently 496.49 and the best amd drivers are currently 21.10.2 amd is having some stuttering issues with the latest updates so do keep an eye on new drivers coming out and pay attention to kerneal's twitter because he will keep you updated on that kind of stuff which leads me to the sponsor today which which is Sense Quality, who is actually owned by Kerneal. Sense Quality is a company that specializes in optimizing and overclocking PCs. They can even do stuff like setting up your stream and recordings for the best possible quality settings. They've worked with a number of CDL pros and a lot of top streamers, so I highly recommend them. Their website is sensequality.com. I'll link them down in the description. And you can use code WEBSY for a discount for anything on their website. If you don't know how to open up the AMD Radeon software, all you gotta do is right click your desktop and then click on AMD Radeon software. If you don't have that option, you probably don't have drivers installed and you should probably do that. So starting here, we are under preferences. I like to uncheck all of this. You can keep in-game overlay checked if you like to record clips or whatever with it. From there, we're going over to the graphics tab here and the first one, Radeon anti-lag. If you have this checked and you're experiencing some stutter issues or whatnot, this could be the cause of that. Now, that is only if you're getting higher frame rates. If you're getting like 60 to 100 fps or something try checking this on it might make your game feel a lot more responsive but otherwise we're just going to copy all the settings i have here so make sure these are all copied just pause the video if you need to and then from there we are going to click on the gaming tab which is the most important part of this and you should see call of duty warzone right here so click on call of duty warzone scroll down a bit and here's what i like to do i like to enable radeon image sharpening this is going to to make your visibility just incredible in this game and i like to crank the sharpness up to 100 but if you don't like your sharpness that high it's just too sharp just mess with this go anywhere between 50 
and 100. But over here on the right side, we have the custom color settings, which in my opinion is AMD's biggest advantage. And my face cam is covering some of that. So let me move it over for you guys. But you're going to want to enable custom color and then also enable color temperature control. Set your color temperature to 7000, your brightness to 10, hue to zero. And then contrast is going to depend on your monitor. On my monitor, I find that 95 looks a lot better and it's a lot easier to see enemies on. But I've tried this on other monitors and actually upping it made the game look a lot better. So I'd put it to about 105. So play with that setting, see what looks best on your monitor. And then for saturation, I bumped this up to 150 just to make the colors pop and look more saturated in the game and make enemies just a lot easier to see. These are basically Nvidia filters that don't affect your FPS whatsoever. If you're on AMD, this is your biggest advantage and definitely take advantage of it. Now for the Nvidia side of things, first thing I want you to do is go to your search bar and just type in graphics and you are going to see graphics settings pop up right here. So click on it and it'll bring this menu up. And all you want to do is turn this on right here where it says hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. And once you do do that, you will have to restart your PC for the changes to take effect. If you do stream or record any videos on the same PC that you're gaming with, do not enable this setting. This can cause issues with OBS and just make things look bad and stuttery then we're gonna go to the nvidia control panel and if you don't know how to open it just right click your desktop and it'll be right there but it'll bring you to this menu here and from here we're just gonna go to the left side click on manage 3d settings and then i just want you to copy every single setting that i have right here so if you need to pause the video to do so do that from there you're gonna want to go over to change resolution on the left side and just double check that your monitor is at the correct refresh rate if you have 144 hertz 240 hertz monitor or whatever and it's only saying 60 hertz right here that could be because you're under the ultra hd resolution settings over here so what you would have to do is scroll down to where it says pc and then put it to your native resolution and then you can switch your refresh right there at the bottom here you're going to want to check use nvidia color settings and then use full under output dynamic range and then don't forget to apply your settings your monitor might go black for a second but that is okay from there we are going to go to adjust desktop color settings and then we're going to up this digital vibrance to 75 and that'll just make the saturation and the colors of the game look incredible make your visibility a lot better just a lot easier to see enemies like this and again don't forget to click apply from there go back to the left side and click on adjust video color settings and then check where it says with nvidia settings and then again under dynamic range you're going to want to select full you will find this dynamic range option Option under the advanced tab right here and again do not forget to press apply now let's get into the in-game graphic settings so keep in mind that nvidia does have more settings options than amd has so we'll be going over the options that everybody has and then after that we will come back and go through with the nvidia exclusive options so go into your settings here and we're going to start under the display tab here under graphics and as always i recommend you play in full screen mode you're going to get the least amount of input lag possible by doing so double check that your screen refresh rate is selected here you don't want to be playing on 60 hertz on a 240 hertz monitor make sure your render resolution is at 100 dynamic resolution we want this disabled sync every frame or vsync we want this disabled vsync kind of fixes some screen tearing issues that you might be having but it comes at the cost of input lag custom frame rate limit i do have this set to custom and then i click advanced here and i put the gameplay custom frame frame rate limit all the way up and leave the menu custom frame rate limit and the out of focus custom frame rate limit both at 60 fps so that way my gpu and my computer is just not overworking itself in the menus and then brightness here i do have it at 55 but this is going to depend on your monitor if you look over here on the right side you just literally want to follow the guide adjust your brightness until this middle logo is barely visible and then for display gamma we do have this at 2.2 and as i mentioned before there is going to be some more settings here for the nvidia people which we will go over after we go through the rest of these settings but moving on to the quality tab over here now field of view is generally preference i like to play at the highest fov possible the highest possible fov will give you the biggest advantage in game and then i click on advanced here and change this ads field of view to affected for camera movement we want to set this all the way down to least so your screen's not shaking a crazy bunch when you're getting grenades thrown at you and airstrikes are coming in and stuff like that or streaming quality
quality i do set this too low because i'm on amd and a lot of these settings if you put them any higher than low on amd you are going to have stuttering issues putting this to low will also boost your fps but if you want your game to look a little better you can switch it up to normal here but i would only recommend that if you are on an nvidia graphics card same thing with texture resolution anything higher than low on amd graphics cards i have noticed that i get terrible stutters and the fps difference between low and the very low setting is very marginal it's like one or two fps so i would not recommend using very low but if you're on a higher end nvidia graphics card i would recommend setting this setting up to normal again same thing with texture filter anisotropic if you're on an amd card put this on low if you're on an nvidia graphics card though i recommend putting this on high for particle quality we want this set to high now bullet impacts and sprays is very cpu intensive which is why i have it disabled the fps boost you're getting from this is very very small so if you care about seeing your sprays and all that stuff on the ground you know just leave it enabled but if you want to max out your performance definitely disable this tessellation again we have disabled and then same thing with dismemberment and gore effects i have this disabled because it can be very cpu intensive but the fps difference is very very small again so if you want to see that stuff enable it but if you want to maximize your performance keep it disabled and then on demand texture streaming we have this disabled as well and then scrolling down here if you're on an nvidia card you're gonna see some settings here that i don't have which we will cover here in a bit so don't worry about it but what you're gonna want to do is set your filmic strength all the way up to one turn your film grain all the way down to zero and then anti-aliasing i do have this turned off anti-aliasing is really really going to affect your performance but you will get that jagged line like shimmering effect so if you don't like that you could bump this up to the 1x just keep in mind anti-aliasing is a big performance hog for depth of field here we want this disabled world motion blur weapon motion blur we want all that disabled that's just going to affect visibility for shadow map resolution again we have this on low i've seen a lot of people say that you want to put this on normal or high and it's going to give you more fps i have tested this on three different pcs and putting this on low gave me the best performance on each of them so if you want the best performance put this on low but if you hate how bad the shadows look on low because they do look pretty bad on low you can bump this up to normal and the fps difference isn't huge but i would rather maximize performance personally and then cache spot shadows and cache sun shadows we want these both enabled particle lighting we want this disabled ray tracing we want disabled again and same with ambient occlusion and screen space reflection now let me hop over to my nvidia pc and we will go over all those extra settings for you guys if you go back over to the display tab you're going to see two things here that amd doesn't have and that's nvidia highlights and nvidia reflex low latency i would recommend disabling nvidia highlights otherwise the game's going to be just recording just random stuff all the time just hogging up space on your computer and we don't want that and then nvidia reflex low latency if you're getting a very high amount of fps on average like around the 200 plus mark or even a little under 200 i would recommend disabling this otherwise it can cause some stuttering and performance issues but if your frames are super super low then definitely try putting this on enabled plus boost and then if we go over to the quality section again and then scroll all the way down to post processing effects you are going to see nvidia dlss here and same thing as with the nvidia reflex low latency if you're getting a high amount of fps just keep this disabled but if you're getting like 60 to 100 fps or something and you want a nice little fps boost you're going to want to put this up to quality if you are playing at 4k you can try something like performance or balance but i personally don't like dlss because it almost looks like the game has vaseline smeared all over it and it affects visibility but if you really really need the fps this could be a good option for you and that's it if this video did help you out i would appreciate you drop a like and subscribe if you're new here we do these videos every single season and make sure you come check out the stream sometimes over on twitch link is in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video here's the web base